Okay, this will be summer review uh, six again, uh, number three and four. And again, make sure you have your paper out here so we can just kind of refer to that. And if you look over here, it says that um, we have, um, it's hard to see this, but f of x equals 3x minus 1 if x is less than 1, and the natural log of x plus 2 if x is greater than or equal to 1. So we'll start with this one, 3x minus 1. So again, my intercept is negative 1, my slope is 3, so I go up 3 over 1. And it's going to be a less than 1, so there'll be a little hole there. And then the other one is the natural log of x. Now remember the natural log of x kind of looks like this when it's equal to, to 1. It starts over here. Okay? And it goes through the point. It actually goes through the point um, 1, 0. But then we're going to shift it up 2, so we just shift it up 2 and it looks like that. And these connect so this is a continuous function. Okay? Hope that's clear. Okay, the next one, a y equals x plus 3. And y equals x plus 3 if x is less than 3. And y equals the square root of x minus 3 if x is greater than 3. So this is just the square root function, or like we call John Travolta, but it's shifted 3 to the right. So it's going to start at 3. And this is, the again, negative x plus 3. So my intercept would be plus 3, and my slope is negative 1. So I go down 1 over 1, down 1 over 1, down 1 over 1. I hit right here at the point um, 3, 0, and then that's actually where this start graph starts because it's just this shifted over 3, so it's a square root function, so I go over 1, up 1, over 4, the square root of 4 is 2, and there's a couple points to check it, so this is what it looks like, and since it connects, it's a nice continuous function. Okay, so negative x plus 3 or the square root of x minus 3. And then letter C, we have the absolute value function. So this was the one that was shaped like a V, except it's shifted down 2. Okay, so it's the absolute value of x minus 2 if x is less than 2. And if it's greater than or equal to 2, it's this line negative 2x plus 4. So I shift this down 2, so it was like my V. And the slope is either negative 1 or positive 1. Until I go right to 2, and then this is going to be a less than 2, and then greater than or equal to 2, it was this line, negative uh, 2x plus 4, so I find the intercept, which is 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, and my slope is 2, so I go down 2 over 1, down 2 over 1, and this is where it starts. And then I just draw it down 2 over 1, down 2 over 1, I can get some more points, and draw that line, and you can see they both connect at the point 2, 0, so it's a continuous function. All right? Okay, so that was 3, A, B, and C. Let's take a look at 4. 4 is the absolute value of x minus 1. So it looks like it's going to be shifted to the right one unit. And then just a, a constant line 3. So absolute value of x. Uh, and now this is tricky because this is if the absolute value of x is less than 2. That means x is within minus 2 and negative 2 in between those. And if it's greater than 2, x is going to be outside that. All right, so this is interesting. So x will be, if the absolute value of x is greater than 2, greater than or equal to 2, it's 2 or negative 2, 3 or negative 3, so it's going to go both directions. So this is an interesting way to do these. So this is a tad more complicated. So the first one was the absolute value of x squared minus 1. So this is just a parabola. x squared minus 1 is a parabola, and it's just shifted down. So normally it would look like this. Okay, so it would normally go down here like this. But it's the absolute value, so wherever it's negative, we flip it and make it positive. So instead of going down like this, this part, which is negative, goes up here. So this is the absolute value of x squared minus 1. So this is x squared minus 1, which is a regular parabola. Just shift it down one. But this part of the parabola is negative, and remember the definition of absolute value. If it's negative, we take its negative, so we reverse these points. So here it was negative 1, it becomes positive 1. So it goes like this. And that's between negative 2 and 2. That's when the absolute value is less than 2. And then when the absolute value is greater than 2, that's 2 or greater or negative 2 or smaller. Then it's just y equals 3. So that's kind of an interesting one. So I hope that makes sense. Take a look at your paper. And hopefully that makes sense. Especially the way we define the domain. Now these points do 
touch. There's if I and again if I take my pencil, I can draw it all the way through here without lifting my pencil, so it's a continuous function. No holes in it. Letter B. X squared. Sorry, good old regular parabola. <coughs> Pardon me. X squared for x is less than or equal to one. One over x for x is greater than one. So this looks like this is my regular x squared parabola. It goes like this. Except it's just up to one. And then one over x, remember the one over x? That was kind of like swoosh. And we're going to start at one, so one over one is one. One over two is a half, so it's going to go like that. So that's this one here. And it connects. So we can see that we have a continuous function again. Okay, and the, the last one, uh, letter C. Uh, negative x squared plus 3. So I think we saw this problem up here. And uh, number 2C, negative x squared plus 3, right? So it starts up, it's just shifted up 3, and it's a parabola shaped like an N. So oh, uh, back one down, down one, back two down four. And then this is the uh, natural log of x, but now it's flipped, and it's shifted up too. So remember, the natural log of x goes kind of like this. So if I flip it, it would go like this, and then we would shift it up too. So this is the negative natural log of x. And remember, again, the natural log of x goes like this. So if I flip it, it would go like that. And then if I shift it up too, it would go like this. And your checkpoint is the point. It goes through this point. Either case, even when you flip it, it goes through the point. 1, 0, and then we just shift it up 2. And they both connect at the point well, 1, 2. In other words, when x is 1, uh, negative 1 plus 3 is 2, and then this works out the same way. When x is 1, the natural log of 1 is 0, and I go up 2. Okay? So that's letter C. Take a look at these. I label the graphs so you can actually see how they work. I put them in colors, and then you can look at your paper. So that should be 3 and 4. Hope that's okay.